also a round table. So I suppose you know you have the uh, the program. So I'm extremely pleased that we have been able to organise this uh, this screening and um, bring together Kumaran Baraban and Pankaj Peji Kumar. And I believe this is the first time they have been doing you know, a screening together. So of this, you know, of this film, this particular uh, documentary. Um, so Kumaran Baraban, I suppose you, you know that he is the director of Indian Austria in Pondicherry. Um, so Indian Austria is francophone, multilingual uh, theater. It is also the place where Ariel Mushkin created you know, Jean Gomand. Um, and um, the, the association, in fact, with Théâtre du Soleil had been an ongoing you know, association and collaboration between Kumaran and uh, Ariel Mushkin. Indian Astrum is also the place where the latest film by Paranjit was filmed. So it's a bit of a you know, center of the world. Um, and Pankaj um, Rishi Kumar so is a documentary filmmaker. He comes from FTI as well. So he's got this long you know, cinema practice. And so again, it's theater and cinema uh, being brought together. The play that the documentary is about and is on is Chandala, the impure. So again, it's an adaptation. It's one more bridge, in fact, that we are going to cross. Um, so it's an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet in the caste context uh, in India. And again, it's you know, theater and, uh, and cinema. So I'm delighted to be able to you know, introduce both of them. There will be a discussion, obviously, after the, uh, after the screening. Um, I would like, Pankaj, maybe to say a few words about the film first. Um, so that, yes. It's quite hard for me, let me tell you. This, this is not few, this is a lot for me. Um, just a quick background. Uh, I don't speak a word of Tamil or French. Uh, you know, just to begin with, my entry to Pondicherry was in 2012. I landed here. To, and my curiosity was to make a film on the Tamil French community. And as part of making of that film, which is called Two Flags, some of you may have seen it, I met Valavan, the madman, who was that time doing Romeo and Juliet with the Lycée Francais, the kids. And our partnership grew. He became a major one of the characters for my earlier film, Two Flags. And then I got to know one day that he was going to adapt Romeo and Juliet uh, for the French audience. And he said, adaptation. And my curiosity was, what do you mean by adaptation? He said, well, that's a play about warring families. And in this context, it's going to be caste. And I was very intrigued because it's not the same family. And my curiosity was, how do you adapt caste into a play like Romeo and Juliet, which I knew is going to be a four hour theatrical production. So my journey began over there. and. I was documenting the group for like close to 70 days. And if Chandala is Vanavan's interpretation of Romeo and Juliet, Janani's Juliet is my interpretation of Chandala. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So yes, they are two different journeys, very intricate journeys. We'll talk about at length later. Uh, it's a 53 minute documentary, which I finished in 2019. And I'm just very happy to share it with you all over here. Thank you. Thank you. And I also want to say that the, you know, the ongoing uh, collaboration between Indian Ostrom and uh, France is also going to continue in, in, you know, and develop in 2023 because Chandala the Impure has been invited as part of the Bollywood Superstars uh, big, big exhibition that is going to be organized uh, at the Musée du Quai So this is going to happen in November 2023. And then there are all kinds of collaborations, ongoing collaborations as well with Limoges and with Théâtre de la Commune in Aubervilliers. And of course, there will be a visit in Montpellier as well because, you know, I couldn't just let it go. Uh, so thank you very much. And we'll have the discussion afterwards just between Kumaran and Pankaj. So thank you for the screening. Um, 
we don't have much time, but of course it is uh, you know, now time for the for the discussion. Um, directly, should we start directly? Yeah, yes, I have of course uh, questions, and I suppose there will be questions as well from the from the audience uh, about the interactions, you know, interconnections between real life and uh, the documentary, and as well about the you know the, the multiple ways the documentary could have, can have changed. In fact. Your perception of the play and Kumaran's perception of the play and the reception of the play as well is going to be you know, one of my uh, questions. And also the problematic uh, ending, the rewriting or the, or the you know, non rewriting and the choices that were made as well. So this may be you know, part of the discussion. Kumaran, would you, would you like to uh, come and I'll just leave you to it? Yeah, absolutely. So. Because obviously, you know, one had a few starting points. I didn't know where the film would be going, you know. But I remember clearly in the first two weeks, I found my way. And my way was that this is going to be Juliet's slash Janine's story and how she looks at the world. More than that, that what is the idea of love superseded the idea of caste? Because uh, as in one of our discussions, and Balavan also says that, you know, love has the ability to supersede caste. And I went with that argument. I, 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 I kind of thoroughly believed in it. And it was that starting point of that argument which helped me to edit the film the way it is. You know, so the emphasis throughout is on the idea of love. I mean, the film ends with the, those beautiful lines of Pablo Neruda, you know, Jack, I will bring you happy. So that was my journey. Uh, uh, the, the group was busy putting up a play which I knew was going to be four hours long. They were taking the text, Shakespeare's text, in, you know, and adapting it. And very soon I realized I was not interested in a lot of, you know, there are subplots in the, in the original play. And I knew very soon, not interested, not interested, not interested. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I did hang around for some time, but after a point, once I knew that no, this is not the echo which I'm wanting to hear. I just gave up. And uh, it was frankly a very close journey between me and especially these three girls who were who played Juliet uh, or Janani. You know. and, and these three girls had literally joined the group when I started the shoot. And so it was, they were going through their own journey, how to negotiate with the group, how to negotiate with the play, how to negotiate with Valawa. You know, it's a, it's a very difficult thing, you know, I mean, if you know him. And, and I was interested in that journey and how they were looking at love, their own personal life, everything. And, and I went, I just went with that journey and kind of, you know, edited myself. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's very interesting. None of them came up to the fact that love is political. You know. So I have a feeling that this whole conception of another is very important. Yeah. And also where the actresses uh, they did not come up at some point because Nashita Madhur was made and they really made a very political. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm. But let's, yeah, I completely agree with you. Let's put it this way, you know, uh, now there are various ways of making a documentary. Uh, I could have brought in that idea, what you are saying, now is political, which I completely agree with. And uh, now there are various ways to do it in a documentary. So uh, there are various ways how to handle this something like an uh, idea like this in a documentary. Uh, the way I make films most of the time is I follow a very close observational mode of documentary. My intervention as a filmmaker, talking, interview is bare minimal, you know. So I take material what is coming from my subjects, you know. So for me, this idea, this love is political was there. And it was kind of for me, it was understood in the way the film was put together. Yes, it was never articulated in all those words, but yes, I completely agree. It's important. But uh, yeah, it was not there. As I said, I'm looking for somebody to articulate that in all those words. I mean, 
you know, editing is a very tricky process, you know. So these girls, I remember Anjana saying that, but not in all those words, which could have been used in the film. But that thought that love is political, because they were constantly, back of their mind, they had Shankar and Kausalya's story. I, I, you know, so just want to re, uh, uh, like share something with you. Uh, uh, that story became a very important part while the play was being developed, you know. And I remember this was uh, around 10 September, Vallavan is leaving for Paris to take the final play. And 10th August, 15th August, he's shivering. What to do? Because he cannot, he just does not know what to do with the, how to end the play. And that's when, you know, we decided, let's go and meet Kausalya again. You know, and we met, we went and met Kausalya and we got all the, uh, you know, the best footage, which is there in the film. And of course, the group members could not accompany us. And the next day I projected that entire interview, you know, uh, to the group and the entire perception about the play, what love was all about changed. So this thing of, you know, yes, it's political. For me, it's understood. It's not articulated in all those words. I, I completely agree with that. Yeah. Well, I did share the film with her. Metaphorical. Yeah, yeah, I, I shared. She's stuck in that realm of love being, metaphorical love being, yes, you know, yes. platonic love being. She has become an extremely political person exactly. where she just fought yeah. for, you know, social justice. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. So how did she receive this? Well, uh, uh, you also know Kausalya has become a big public figure. So for her giving interviews and, and the cameras is like no problem. And so for her, she, I mean, when I shared the film with her, it was like, any other film. I mean, there are a lot of films which have been done on her, you know. So I didn't get any like kind of a special response. Oh, I like this about it. Or she said, yeah, it's another way of putting my story together and I love it. That was it, you know, yeah. Yes, I, I presume it will be a different context had it been a situation like this where I'm there, Kosalya is there, Vallavan is there. And I think the dynamics then will be very different. Yeah. <coughs> <laughs> so for, for me, uh, I, uh, for me, the movement started to this great idea of doing uh, Romeo and Juliet in the context of system, caste system. Sorry, the context of caste system. For me, it was immediately political, yeah. and I don't need to give any statement because the moment we start this process, it was political, and our play started with this video of course, the play started wherever we performed with the video of the killing, which is uh, it's on YouTube. So is uh, and the play end also uh, for uh, uh, for me any play. In fact, I consider any play, even Abhimanyu or it's uh, uh, Ramayana. <laughs> they doing the moment I, artists they go on stage and this artistical work. I consider it's very positive. <laughs> of course, for me the moment I, we started to do uh, Chandala, uh, I mean an adaptation of Romeo and Juliet, the, the political thing started because I. Started with discussing with French people, they started to say, "You cannot do this." He said, "They said because Shakespeare voluntarily didn't say what the reason of their hate." Maybe you know that yeah. Romeo Juliet never Shakespeare say what the reason. He said you should not change it because this is something very important. So the, the moment I said that, political started because why you need to put this in caste system. Yeah. So, so uh, and the moment I, I then the girls started to say why. So of course, we started with Romeo Juliet. They said, why there is so many texts for Romeo and nothing for Juliet? Hmm. So for me, the moment this play started, it, the discussion got. So. But my, 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 I mean, my way of working is I, I don't try to have a clear statement, political statement to say. For me, there's a story of people. Uh, and whenever uh, uh, making a play, it's as, as much important for me, the travel of the actors. How much they traveled. I always say to them, uh, you, you are telling a story, but you are also telling that your own travel through this story. So especially for Chandana, because all these people went across and they, the, I will, a bit, I should not say it, but all the people are represented in Chandana. So you understand what I mean. So they all talked about their own struggle with caste. So they said, I, had, I mean, whoever come from upper caste, they were saying, I also faced a problem because of caste system. Because my, my parents was not allowing me to do this. And the all discussion went, what the other things happened during this Chandala, and David is here, he was one of the actors. I never struggled as, uh, that much with the actors. There were so many problems happening. I was thinking, okay, some something happened. But I realized 
we all have this demon in our brain, all. And when we started to talk about and slowly, 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 the demons enter on our theater, and it was like crazy moment to us to, to, to come out. And and because we think caste system is something to something outside, we are not concerned because we are intellectual or artist. It's not true. We all have this in our blood. Uh, because even you say, I know I'm not caste is, you, are, you grew up in a situation, all caste. I felt, for example, uh, people coming from, uh, not necessarily from theater background or artistical background, they come to the theater, they feel always, it's not my place. I should not be there. Why you are giving me this place? That's a huge struggle. And the other kind of thing is, I have knowledge. I have knowledge. I, I know more than you. All this was, all this was there. I'm openly saying it. This was a play going on on the stage, on the backstage, in the theater. We faced the same demons. I, I won't say we were, we were costist, but we had this in our blood. Include me. Then I realized there are words I'm using. Maybe it's costist. The words, the way I'm talking, maybe it's costist. So it's a, it's a, everyone went through something. Uh, I think it's, it, it is enough for me, political. Of course, uh, I didn't create an emblematic character in uh, Chandala to hold this idea of love is political, which is, the, uh, which is also genuine. I'm not saying it's not correct. I prefer to tell a love, take the idea of this, this uh, also in Romeo and Juliet, the, the, the uh, free feeling of the people. Let's say, don't say love. The free feeling of people is a danger for caste system. The freedom is a danger for caste system. Because if you are, we are, so we have to fight not only for love, we have to fight for the freedom. rights, freedom, to the voice. And I always say caste system is, is, a, we, is not allowing all of us to let hear our voice. It's a matter of voice. So I don't know if I answered. Yeah, I think it's very interesting because uh, what Kosalya says uh, in the in the in the in the documentary is that the parents tried to kill her, not just Shankar, because they were the child. They suspected they were the child, and that I think just is is a very chilling thing because and as as she says, it's not just the the child; it's also they're questioning women's freedom now. You know, yeah. and and these are things which uh, are, are for me they were a very strong echo. Uh, uh, you know, throughout the film of what, uh, uh, you know, what Kausalya or the entire love between Koschankar and Kausalya came to symbolize, you know. And of course, as you rightly said, it's very political. So let's not, you know, even call it to uh, begin uh, with. It's, yeah. The last thing, when we performed, because the play was commissioned by a international, I mean, from the French festival. Mm. So we went there. Of course, we did the play in Tamil. Our idea is not to do the play in French. There was article come out in uh, <coughs> French papers. They were talking about this. They were saying, oh my God, we were all thinking in India came out of the caste system. <laughs> then suddenly a play come, tell them there's honor killing happening. They was very surprised. The title was the untouchable coming out. I mean, coming out of the untouchable, oh the God. title of the article. They say, then there are two millions of Dalits in India. So, so article was talking about saying, yeah. and the French people were very surprised. When after the show, they come, this is true what you're saying. <laughs> I said, yes. Of course, we were thinking there's no more caste system in India. And they were very surprised. They were very su surprised about the honor killing because they were thinking all this is, was uh, in uh, yeah. belong to the Indian past and it's not happening today. So during this discussion, because I, we had a lot of discussion during oh Chandala uh, play, people are asking how many uh, honor killing happening in, in one year. So some numbers I forget. I'm telling they were like, no. How? <laughs> And very strangely, uh, we are performing in, in Belgium. There is a guy who did a film where about a, com a Pakistani or Indian community where a honor killing happened between Indian family. Yeah. So it's, it's suddenly it's, it's not only yeah. uh, also or in, in, uh, we are carrying all our demon also to abroad, no? Mm -hmm. To so I think it's, it's, uh, it's I won't say it created a change. Of course, mm -hmm. no, it won't change anything. But it, at least uh, it's. You know, this is very small things. We don't know how, how it can change, but at least change something for whoever did the play, whoever was part of it. And we realize we cannot work. Is 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 there is a something you have to we have to go. Everyone has to go to cross this, and uh, and sharing the story and continue to share stories like this is very important. Very important. You should not say it's over. 
something will happen and most of time i perform perform in india people say it's happened in villages that's <laughs> other idea caste system exists only in villages no. not in cities which is completely wrong but yeah so the the west i mean what they want to pick you yes. know from india and so they have this you know construction um but also i mean you you brought up this um, you know caste in the blood and also the fact that uh you may have realized i mean you yourself you know had that self awareness and it shows in the film at one stage um when you speak about jack and you explain that you know he became an angel yeah well that formulation itself is extremely problematic because wasn't he an angel before he met julia before he got in touch with you know yeah. the high caste girl yes. So even that, even in the language that we use, even though we think we are fighting from an anti-caste perspective, it still creeps in, in you know, su such violent ways. In fact, he became an angel. You know, so. Yeah. And also, what Shakespeare for? But also the end. You know the end. I mean, you yeah. you say at one point, uh, I'm very open to rewriting. You know, yeah. rewriting the end, rewriting the play, but you don't rewrite to the extent that you do not have the Dalit boy killed. Why the Dalit boy, not you know the girl? You know, also, so those are also you know questions. Uh, yeah. We uh, more plays about this, this, this stories will be go more deeper. because I, i i i my point of view is is, is all about uh, let's say or or uh, i came back in uh, i left india 14 year old and i came back 20 years after so i came little naive saying okay nothing happened in india nice. and i realized slowly slowly for example i i was very fond of mahabharata ramayana i want to learn sanskrit all this because it's all image we have from france no So I said I will learn Kannada. And slowly, slowly, I, when I come back to India, the Tamil Nadu, and so I just meet people, and I realized there's one portion of this my own roots I didn't know. So I started my journey like this. At one that moment, I was saying, one day I have to go cross this caste system. So I, I grew up also with this caste system. So you have to go. You have to face this. So you imagine the when I came first time, I said I want to learn Sanskrit. I want to do Ramayana, Mahabharata, because only this was Indian for me. So it was also a self-travel when I realized there are so many things which exist, so many culture. Uh, one of the main uh, things also in Chandala is uh, because the play is about uh, uh, two families, two people in the same city. There's a cinema theater. The cinema theater give the idea. See, this play cannot happen without uh, the place of cinema because cinema theater we have the feeling with the darkness of cinema theater everything is disappeared. Mm -hmm. So mm. people get together. So it's not true. In fact, end of the day, cinema creates this image. You yeah. come in the cinema theater, dark, and there is no difference. And cinema give also this idea of love, mm -hmm. all this. So for me, it was not possible to do Chandala without questioning this, uh, this cinema matter. And also the other point was this, that what I realized. We, if you look for the culture, let's say, let's say instruments, music, uh, who at end of the day where is preserved? All the middle class. Let's say they forget there's almost no culture. They watch some films, a TV, and they don't almost no play any instruments. I realize this that the, uh, in the very remote place, people still use instruments, music, rituals, and this is maybe the our our roots, our culture. Uh, maybe this this portion we are marginalizing, pushing away. Maybe they preserve something which is belong to us, and they preserve the music, they preserve the instrument, they preserve the way of uh, doing rituals. that was a main, another point because in the chandala there was only uh, this side of house they were playing instrument and that side they don't have in fact it's true middle class they don't have any this kind of culture they have only culture they have cinema so that's also i realized culturally there's very strong it's not only about uh, i i i i, I remove the idea of saying poor marginalized people i remove this idea i say they are not poor they are marginalized they have a huge culture that was also my my realization it's more about my travel and actors travel then yeah the political statement because i i not i'm not i didn't consider myself ready to do a political statement oh. maybe at 70 year old <laughs> many you have a question yeah. uh popular documentary in india has dealt with caste 
has dealt with class. No, no, a lot of, lot of, lot of documentaries. Not, not this way. Theater, right? Major mainstream theater. You know, the question of representation keeps coming, and they are doing some kind of a. You know, they will bring. Now, this is a very interesting part you brought in because you have you have a contemporary issue with honor killing. Honor killing is a major issue. It's a social issue, political issue, legal issue, right? And uh, and 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 the and the and the and the documents you brought in, like you know, it's a public killing, right? The public killing which was captured in cinema, in, in, a, in a traffic right? light, there's drama in it. And then that kind of plays another kind of an issue, right? Outside the mainstream theater, people discuss class. They have done it to a part of people doing the theater, right? It's always it's not that class was not discussed, it's that mainstream theater and mainstream documentary on Right, and arts that are discussing caste, right, and adaptation in literature. How does that take? Right, what what does it do to the stage? What does it do to uh, you know the four walls? Right, what happens there? Right, so it's not that there wasn't any documentary on caste, on caste killings, on violence. Right, it's not that theater is not on caste. There, there are there are there are people who are dedicated. Right, there are practitioners dedicated to talk about this. Perhaps not. What is the mainstream? Like we are talking today about mainstream cinema. What does it do? Like mainstream documentary and mainstream theater. Discuss that. Respond to that too. The way they handle caste is uh, on the surface. It's and that becomes superficial. I, I think caste is not just you know depicting a certain occupation, a certain uh, you know stratum of the society, and saying this is what happens. No. Uh, I think one has to uh, kind of understand how caste permeates, which I think a lot of documentaries just fail to do. It, they, so they are very much on the surface, you know. Uh, I even fail to see documentaries where the filmmaker do not put themselves into put their own perspective. Who, who are you? Who are you? I mean, are you an upper caste or a lower caste? Who are you? Make, you know? And I think these questions are important. Not all films have to be made like that, but these questions have not been addressed. And that's why majority of the films, you know, they just stick to a very superficial level. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the way I, I would look at, you know, and let's not call mainstream documentary because I don't know if there, there, there's a mainstream also in documentary, you know, <laughs> but yes, whatever little we see in docus, yes, these things are not, um, they're not taken head on. They're not, you know, who are from uh, uh, marginalized communities, they may, they may not make films on, on, on the topic of caste, but I yes, but they do exist very much in my community. Yeah. See, after a point, you know, uh, uh, let's put it this way: uh, when you're an artist, you know, uh, uh, you need to find a reason also. Just because you know I have a certain DNA and something, something, I start making films on it. Not we all don't think like that. We don't think like that. You know, so yes, I belong to a certain community. I belong. I may not even write about it, or even have an artistic expression. I will just, you know, deal with it or negotiate with it as I grow up. Some people choose to negotiate with it or deal with it. I, I, that basic thing has to be also we has to be understood. You know, like for example, my starting point. Uh, uh, you know, I've been uh, like documenting his work for years. It's only when he said, okay, Romeo and Juliet and adaptation. And I said, adaptation? He said, cast. I said, okay, let me see. I know you are now going on a tricky wicket. And for me, how that thing will play out in the group, not in Balavan's head, but how that entire idea of cast will play out in the group and how the group articulates or gives me a sense how they look at cast. So for me, the discussions, in, in the group, in the in that group situation, were much more important than the final play. You know, so okay. yeah, th that's how I was negotiating this. Uh, uh, Kaushalya made one uh, statement there. He's like, uh, it's so courageous. Like she said, my mom is responsible for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, that how you like this is this comment. This is statement. Uh, what your process to? See, uh, like uh, that thing like put on the stage and that like uh, you use that like she throw the costumes and everything mm -hmm. but that statement how you like 
think about that and how you portray that thing that statement on stage for me the biggest thing is the when uh, kausalya uh, when the, there is a documentary that see the judgment is coming on tv yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and suddenly he said mother was i acted huh. she is reacting she said no thought box she said it's not the great al jazeera doctor she's reacting she said no i don't and i was she was not only questioning the patriarchal system she also questioning the fact mothers are holy because for me indian court at moment saving the they punish the father but they're saving the mother because mother of course mothers are innocent pure so she said no it's not true she was part of this and that was very powerful not only she's questioning the patriarchal yeah. system she's also saying this only mother things as it yeah. that was and, incredible and, and <coughs> sorry <coughs> finish, yeah. the play end up with this the play end up with where we heard the judgment of the court hmm. and she said no i contest you know what happened maybe you don't know <laughs> exactly finally they were all released in the madras high court all everybody has been released released so father now is released so you should know because that po- at that moment because society was reacting yeah court was obliged to put them once it things over we don't talk about it went to high court they are all released so now the case has uh, gone to the supreme, supreme court, court and let's see so she is under the protection still now because some she because he she, she did something you cannot imagine in that area that area we cannot perform chandala we go there we put up our play you can be sure there is a there is a civil war there and and if you really read the dynamics mm-hmm. uh, what happened at the high court thing the state government put up a very weak defense mm-hmm. they put a very weak so this is how caste plays out you want to really understand what's happening this is what's happening tapar gas we don't use now that uh-huh. terms but there is a subtle way to do this and in a court you need a proof mm-hmm. and there is uh, the, uh, two men are came and kill them there mm-hmm. is no mother So, so how she is that that I'm saying the high court uh, they did not find this as as docu- as good enough documentary evidence mm-hmm. and also we need to know just for in the legal parlance all this kind of footage is only corroborative evidence mm-hmm. it's not mm-hmm. the evidence because in today's time image making or the politics of it has changed completely these images can be made overnight they can be manufactured please understand that you know it's very strange because a, a, a canadian saw this film and he said how did you make that image and the guy said what he said how did you make that image and he go what are you talking about he said that black and white footage how did you do it i mean go i did not it was there but it's very strange if you google in today's time that footage doesn't exist anymore it's been taken off from youtube you know it's only uh, so the situation come back normal <laughs> yeah but no but the thing is how to slowly slowly system take back everything yeah. kausalya now you should wait uh, you should read comment about her because she get remarried and that was another fiasco yeah. though also she was criticized for it that is a huge politics of the rapper so but so you know but again, yeah yes but again coming back to the you know when we talk about the idea of caste i think all these dynamics are very important how kausalya react to the mother how the both the play and the film deal with the idea of love this is what caste is all about caste is not just about a tag which you and i associate with a lot of the time we need to understand the dynamics how it plays out in the actual world and i think kosalya story is a perfect perfect example in that yeah. huh? one thing we i really understood is caste is not a very uh, strict system it's always change we adapt different forms it become economical it become political it become sociological this would it change continuously why caste resist till now because simply is ability to change to continue change how look how the i court suddenly the system is reversed they were released so how it's possible how suddenly things come back slowly and we find the right way to take it take these people out of this case mm-hmm. what you are telling as a story what you are telling to the society as a story i got is saying finally the father is not uh, a culprit that's what the message is giving first time kausalya father was dead to death penalty i mean he was yeah, death penalty so everyone was scared okay now t- killing uh, lovers is it will be uh, you will get punished when i got is releasing them is giving another message he said you can always find if you are pay killers they kill for you this footage won't work so find evidence go and find evidence one way to go like if you've gone so deep into a process yeah. one way to gauge 
political or even artistical impact would be mm -hmm. to see a final performance yeah. and what impact it is yeah. having, right? Yeah. So your decision to not include that, could you just speak more to that? I'm interested in the process. Uh, one thing which I need to, I've done theatre for 12 years. You know, that, that was a long time ago, but I did for 12 years. And some way that really helped me while I was constructing this film. So the final performance, I was never, never interested. I did shoot the final performance, whatever the group put up. But for me, the process, what is going on in the character's mind? And what are these three girls going through? That journey is the film, you know? And of course, if you see the film, uh, this film, and you see the actual play, a lot of liberties have been taken. What I've done, I mean, I've changed things around like crazy. I, I mean, I'll, I can tell you in detail what, you know, and, but, uh, so for me, the final performance, never. Not interested. We'll wrap everything up. We have uh, another round table. I hope you will be uh, yeah. coming back. We need about 20 minutes uh, to change set, yeah. uh, <laughs> basically. And so we're leaving, you know, Indian Astrum as one of the many centers <laughs> of the world and going to another one of the, the many centers of the world we've been interested in. Um, so, yeah, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you.